grandfather. Now I know that some of you have lost loved ones, and unfortunately, this is a fact of life. The issue here today is not recapturing our losses so much, for the eternity of existence allows for the fact that you will see them again, though it may not be in this life or in the form you are now in. But undoubtedly, your soul, that energy that is you, which is also known as your immortal personality, will live on and you will see all the loved ones you've ever had again. And that is also a fact of life. I wanted to talk to you a little more about the soul today because I feel that there is still a missed perception about who and what has soul. Soul is simply the energy of Creator, also known as the energy of creation with a capital C. So when you factor that in, absolutely everything has soul. It is not possible for Creator to create anything without using Creator's own energy. Therefore, everything is ensouled. Sensitive people over the years have seen souls come and go, and uh, this can be seen. Usually it's in the form of some uh, uh, light energy. This uh, being, Rabbi, has seen that. He's seen a soul leave uh, through the eyes of another, granted, which many shaman and mystical people can do when talking to someone else of the natural world. He uh, saw, when asking, where someone had gone, and if it was possible to rescue her, a neighbor he had when living in Oak Creek Canyon, who, uh, through an unfortunate accident, drowned during a flood. Robbie asked uh, a animal, you would say, if they were there and saw where she went. The animal reported that uh, what it had seen, Rabbi was able to see what that animal had seen, and as a result could see the soul in the form of light. It does not look like the shape of the human body. It is just a sort of an amorphous shape of light moving up and away. That's how Rabbi knew that his neighbor could not be rescued and had passed over. There's a more elaborate telling of that and uh, on the blogs perhaps you'll find a link to that. Now I wanted to say a little more. All animals and all portions of animals, what does that mean? including all portions of humans. What does that mean? It means your cells, the tiny little forms of life also that travel in your bloodstream, all of that. It all has its own soul personality. I know that's hard for some people to grasp, but when you look at it in the form of the big picture, it's not that difficult at all. It simply means that Creator creates out of its own substance. Therefore, everything is ensouled. I'll say more about this in time, but I wanted to remind you again that all that you have loved 
and lost, which is a part of life, you will see again, if you desire, when you pass over in time and uh, have the chance to see all those beings that you've loved. And for those of you who are concerned about seeing beings that you haven't loved and might even be relieved that they had passed over, don't worry about seeing them. When you see them, they will all be entirely benevolent, including those you've loved. Because the anger, the disappointment, the, basically speaking, discomforting aspects of their personality that revealed themselves on earth will simply fall away. And as you move down that light tunnel towards your natural being, when you pass over, you'll see those loved ones, those old friends, and even those enemies who are now friends because they are soul, just like you. Just a little reminder about soul today. Good life.